how you doing today? I'm here again with a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to apply a liquid metal on your MacBook Air. Doesn't matter which year, which model you have, this applies to all the MacBook Air. So let's get it started. First thing first, you wanna flip it over, and I'll put in a link description where you can buy this package of the this assembly kit. It's really handy. You wanna start removing all the screws at the bottom of the cover. Remember the top, or the one right on the screen, the mid two, they are the longest one. So, and the rest is gonna be small screws. Alright, once you remove the screws at the bottom side, you're gonna put your finger right at the back where the screen is, and you're gonna lift up the cover. Use the bottom cover if you want to go ahead and clean up, remove all the dust. Next down here, I'm going to explain it. Uh, you have the one, two, three, four cell polymer batteries, which are connected with one cable to the motherboard. If you want to disconnect it, you can go ahead and just pull this plastic towards the batteries and make sure the laptop is off. Next, the heatsink is right over here. This is the tiniest heatsink I ever seen. Flimsy for iCore 5 that heats up a lot. And one fan right there. I don't know if you guys can see these heat sinks again. Really tiny. Anyway, so we're gonna remove four screw that holds the heat sink right on the CPU. Right, once you remove it, in some model they might have another screw on this end by the heat sink. You have to remove that one. In this one they doesn't. That's the only one that you should see the difference, right there. But this one is, there was no screw there. Actually, they might have been. Yeah, they, they already opened this one and they didn't place the screws. Yeah, there is. So make sure you remove the screw on the other end of the heat sink. Which is right there. So remove this screw too. And as you can see, this one had a repaste with another type of the thermal paste. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, where they apply the thermal paste on the second die right there, the die didn't pressure enough to the heat sink. So it just stayed right there, there was not enough pressure. There's enough, a whole bunch of thermal paste just accumulating right there. I mean, there is not enough good contact between the CPU and the heat sink. And I can see they little lower the heatsink on that portion, and that's why it's not hitting the die. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up the heatsink right there. There we go. And now. Apply that liquid metal over this CPU. You know, grab the liquid metal. I already have some on top of my cotton tape. I'm just going to drop this one in. Gonna apply a tiny drop right on this one and tiny drop right there, or maybe one drop here and take it from here to the other side. Make sure when you press it, you don't want to squeeze too much. Now we're gonna work it right on the heat sink. Alright, now that we applied it, we 
I'm gonna put everything to one side. You wanna grab the heat sink. I always bend the legs a little bit more to the back side so you get much better tension. Make sure they are level, they are the same height. Right now we're gonna place it gently right on top. Only reason I put these two in first because I'm already holding under the cables right there on the peg. Otherwise, you have to put one over there, and the next one should be here or cross it to each other. In the X position. You don't need to go ahead and tighten too hard the screws. Now, I don't have the screw for this end to put in place. So if you guys have the screw for this end, just place the screw. Alright, now we are pretty much done here. We're gonna put the top cover and we should be set to go. And also if you don't know where the hard drive is, this is your SSD M.2 NVMe hard drive right there. Your RAMs come soldered on the other side of the board. This is your Wi-Fi board. And this is your power jack and extra USB. Oh yeah. You're gonna grab the top cover and we're just gonna put it right on top. And we're gonna put the two biggest screw on the top side and the rest is small screw. And I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it and if you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate if you guys subscribe. It helps and motivates me to make more videos. It's all done and thanks again. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna power mm -hmm. it on. And there we go. I do not have the password for this one because as is one of my clients they brought it in, so I don't have any password to do any tests. But I have done it in a few other ones and the temperature will decrease about 10 to 15 degrees, even more.